to the yay area. I'm wearing a mask because it's cold. Look at that cute little dog. But we're on a hike. Good doggies. <laughs> Hello, it is the next day in the bay. We are just chilling inside today. It's been super rainy and I got a media request for a commercial and I have some lines that I need to learn. Pretty crazy. I also have to find a bomber jacket. I think my mom has one that she'll let me use. Let's see if we can pull off a self tape on the go. At least my parents have this really nice big window that I can shoot in front of. Let's see how this looks. Oh yeah, the lighting's pretty good. What's in your wallet? Just kidding, that's not the commercial that I saw. Oh my god, can you imagine? <laughs> Bay Area self-tape complete. Now we just need to edit it together. They are cheating me. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Look like a little egg. Good evening. I'm freshly showered in my Christmas PJs that my sister got for me. Thank you so much, Nadia. Getting on here after packing my bag because it is our last night in the Bay Area at my parents' house. It's been beautiful. So much time with our, our nephew. So much family fun. So much joy. So much dessert but we must go and we were planning to fly back tomorrow but there's some major southwest drama happening right now a lot of flights are getting canceled every single flight from oakland to burbank got canceled on monday today and now they're starting to get canceled tomorrow and since our flight is in the afternoon if we waited and went to the airport and our flight got canceled we would have to spend another night here and it's just like a whole thing so my parents are driving us down tomorrow and they're gonna come down for a couple days and just keep the stewart train rolling so we're waking up pretty early i think and we're gonna hit the road and then we have to go to the burbank airport and pick up will's car because we left it at ballet obviously thinking that we would come back if i would have known that we weren't gonna fly home we probably would have you know taking a lift but it's a mess right now i feel like we have it pretty good considering how bad other people have it who are flying southwest to get their flight canceled like people are stranded not driving distance from their family from their home whatever they check their bags and their bags are lost there's just like a whole bunch of shit happening so it could be worse we're just gonna have a long drive ahead of us tomorrow but at least we get to like stretch out be comfortable be passengers, you know. That's pretty much it. Our trip's coming to an end. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. I'm dying. It's 7.30 in the morning and we're heading to the RV. Hi, King. Who's excited for the RV? This I, is gonna be a long day. I drew a bicycle on your dad's car. All right, we're on the RV. RV tour. This is the heater. This is Tingy. This is the front, okay. Couch, table kitchen bedrooms back there and there's a little bathroom as well that was the most illegitimate tour ever given hello tingy he's very anxious because my dad's not on here he gets very anxious without him it's already recording it's our first stop yes. of the road trip we're at the at the truck stop at the gas station. Are we filling up? We're in the middle of nowhere. We're taking Kingy out. Oh God, the trucks. I gotta drive the trucks. <laughs> this is the sunflower seed area. And that is the trash area. This is the dog peeing area. Humans can pee there as well if you'd like. Gorgeous. Bria brings food and King. Oh, 
Sally from the house. We finally made it back. What a journey today has been. I am so thankful that my parents would even drive us. Sorry, I thought I saw a bug. We were up at 6.30, left the house at 7.30, got to LA like four, picked up the car, drove home. It's just been a really long journey, but we're finally here <laughs> and I can freaking relax. I'm gonna get in the shower and edit a little mini vlog that I filmed today on my phone, documenting the journey so that I can post it tomorrow. But yay, we made it, finally. <laughs> But now my parents are here for a couple days, so we're gonna hang out with them tomorrow. Maybe do something with Will's family too. And just have a good couple of days while they're down here. Hello, it's the next day. My parents got here and we're picking out some oranges and lemons. They don't care, do you, Will? Nope. Major harvest. Y'all have to take a picture of everything. Yeah. My parents just left. We went to lunch with Will's mom and Will's uncle, and it was very tasty. I got a chicken club. Not that it matters, but I am back home now and have some editing to do. I have to edit my vlog for this week. I have a video going up on TikTok and Instagram tomorrow that I have to edit. And then I filmed a manifesting video all about how I manifest, journaling, scripting, doing your sats. Literally every single detail about manifesting is in this video, everything that you need to know. Um, obviously it is already up, so go to my channel and watch it if you wanna see it. So yeah, it's just gonna be an editing afternoon. So let's do it. This is great lighting. Wow, this is the scariest I've ever looked. Okay, I have been on the computer for the past, I don't know, a couple hours I guess. But now I'm really, tired of looking at the computer. So I'm gonna look at a different screen. I'm gonna look at the TV. Um, I really wanna watch Dateline. Okay, so here's something weird that I learned at my parents' house. And we don't have this. I don't know how to get access to this, but I want it. Um, my mom has a channel on her TV called Dateline 24 seven, and it is episodes of Dateline, just one after the other, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's the best. I mean, we watched a lot of them, <laughs> but uh, I'm wondering like, how can I access that? Because Dateline is my favorite show. I can never get enough. And honestly, it's been on for so long that you really, just when you think you've seen every episode, you get a new one that you haven't seen before, you know? I guess what I'm getting at is that I'm gonna watch Dateline now and probably go to bed early tonight. Tomorrow's Friday. We're gonna shoot a bunch of content. I'm so excited. I have, like, I don't feel like I'm in a creative rut. What is the opposite of that? So I definitely have those times when I just don't feel creative. I don't feel like making videos. I feel like every video I make is shit, but I'm in this sort of Bria Renaissance right now where I actually like everything that I'm making and I'm continuing to kind of elevate things and take them to the next level and it's super fun so i'm gonna shoot some stuff tomorrow and just try to line up as much as i can but for now we lay in bed and we watch dateline and my bed is currently unmade there's a bunch of clothes on there we'll deal with that later good night happy new year's eve yeah it's it's not new year's eve when you're watching this again you know i feel like i say this in every vlog i'm catching up okay i'm a little behind I tried to kind of batch things a little bit and now I'm behind, but I'm catching up. It's New Year's Eve, I just got ready. I've been helping well with his YouTube channel for the past, I don't know, maybe hour or so, just playing around with the audio, trying to figure it out, and we finally solved the most annoying problem ever. The audio was coming out of one side and not the other, and I was like, how do I fix this? Premiere, Premiere has an effect or a function for everything and all you have to do is google and just sift through a bunch of bullshit basically to get the answer but we finally figured it out so i got ready real quick and now we're gonna film we're gonna have a productive new year's eve and then tonight we're not gonna go anywhere or do anything honestly we haven't celebrated new year's eve ever what we did on our first new year's eve together was drink hennessy watch soul the movie and watch the Anderson Cooper, Andy Cohen, New Year's extravaganza. And we did that last year as well. <laughs> we even tuned into the Fox News one for a few minutes because it's just like so pathetic and funny. And I highly recommend, I know that we don't like to give them numbers. I know we don't like to do that, but I'm telling you right now, next year, okay, 2024 New Year's, tune into Fox News for five minutes, just do it. It is so funny. Yeah, that's probably what we're gonna do tonight, but I'm trying to have a productive day. It's rainy, it's dark. I'm hoping 
hoping that I'm able to film, but let's get into it. New year, new me, just kidding. Same bitch, different year. We done it. It's been a few hours. I'm literally in my pajamas and we're gonna start a fire. And by we, I mean Will. Oh my God. Wow. I really zoomed in. 